Now that we've covered the rectangular marquee tool, let's take a look at the elliptical marquee tool, which is found in the same place. Its shortcut key is M also. And like the rectangular marquee, all you do is click in a corner and, and drag. And if you're lucky, you may get it, but most of the time it's a little bit harder with an elliptical marquee to get it just right. So like in the rectangular marquee, there is a, a modifier key we can hold, and that is the Option key on a Mac or the Alt key on a PC to drag out from the center. So I can click in the middle here and start dragging out from the center. Now you'll notice that I can do ellipses or circles or whatever. If I want to constrain that to a perfect circle, I also need to add the Shift key into that. And then I can come in closer. Now I got pretty close. I'm holding my Shift and my Option keys down, Shift and Alt on a PC. If I'm not quite right, I can add the space bar into it and I can then move that. That'll stop the selection from growing or shrinking and allow me to move it right into place. And then I can let go and I have that selected. Again, I can jump that selection to a new layer by going Control or Command J. I'll turn off the background layer and you can see that I've I've selected that. Again, let me back up a little bit and I'm going to just click in the middle and move that selection out here where we can see it. Um, we can add to a selection using this in the option bar. We can subtract from a selection by using this icon and we can intersect from the two selections by using that icon. The same shortcut keys as with the marquee tool, the rectangular marquee. If you hold the shift key down, that will add to the selection. If you hold the option or the alt key on a PC, that will subtract from the selection. If you hold both of those down, that will do the intersection of those two. And like the rectangular marquee, you can feather a selection as well, but you need to set your feather beforehand. Sometimes you may need to do a selection that goes clear out of the bounds of the image and let me show you how to do that. I'm going to zoom out by going holding down the command and the minus keys and zoom out quite a ways. That would be control and the minus keys on a, on a PC. And then I'm going to grab my marquee and I'm going to click right here in the middle and hold my option key down so it drags out from the center and then I'm going to just try and get it as as close as as I can hold my spacebar down so I can move it, contract it in just a little bit, hold my spacebar down, let go of the spacebar and bring it in a little bit. Now I'm, I'm pretty close and like my rectangular marquee I can come into the middle of the selection now and right mouse button click and say that I want to transform the selection and again I can hold my command or control key down and modify that that selection 
and then I can hit the check mark or press return and so again you have all of those modification tools including scale, rotate, skew, distort, perspective and, and warp that uh, that you can use and so you can use the warp tool for example just to pull that exactly in place.